everyone, and welcome to wedding weekend number two. Don't want to hit anything. And I'm not supposed to hit with my car. I am leaving. It is Friday. I am going to get my hair done. Need a little color refresh. The red doesn't stay as long as you might think it does. So, I'm going to see my hairdresser, Jenny, who we all know and love. I don't know if Jenny's ever been in a vlog. <laughs> but she's been my hairdresser for a very long time. Anyway, ooh, don't want to run into a tree. Someone commented on my vlog and was like, oh, I get so nervous when you're vlogging instead of paying attention to your road. Well, I'll tell you what. This, to me, is truly, oh, there's a car. This, to me, is truly no different than if I were talking to someone in my car. So, do not worry, I am safe. Any mistake I make while vlogging, I would have made while not vlogging because I'm just bad at being alive. So anyway, it's Friday. Uh, my friend Aaron, my best friend Aaron from high school is getting married tomorrow and three of us, Carrie Shinoa and I are bridesmaids in her wedding. And so tonight is the rehearsal dinner, tomorrow is the wedding and I am excited about it. Um, I just, just got back home, I was just home less than a week ago. Uh, for the other wedding, so lots of travel uh, for me, but also lots of fun. Uh, so I thought I'd start the vlog off on my way to the hairdresser. And yeah, hopefully it goes well. Because um, if it doesn't, I will look bad. I think I'm going to try, here's what I'll say. I kind of want to go a little lighter red. I like the red I have, but the red that I have... You can really only say that it's red in like sunlight. Like right now, you would never say that my hair is red. You'd say it's brown because it looks brown. So, yeah, anyway, I'll let you know what happens. Uh, we'll update you soon. Just got out of the salon. As you can see, a little bit more red. Just like, yeah, that redness that was gone is back. Um, I wanted to go lighter, but... I think I might do that next time because I think I have to make my whole head lighter before I try and get like a lighter um, red put on it. Because my hair is dark. So, next time. But I didn't want to try and do something new when I have a wedding tomorrow. I don't want to look weird for my wedding. My wedding, the wedding. So anyway, I'm heading home now. Um, boosh, boosh. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get some more work done because I'm working from home today. Um, I mean, so for a present for Aaron, we made a video of everyone, all their friends and family, of the couple getting married. Um, like congratulations and advice or whatever and I need to put those clips together I think I'm gonna do that when I get home also I got these that she just did on the way home these are so good like one of the top non potato snacks they come in a bag come on friend I'll go I'm actually out an hour earlier than I thought I'd be. But I don't think I need to go to the store or anything. I'm just gonna go home. I keep forgetting it's Friday. Like, no one's out. I think that's because it's Friday. Everyone's at school or work. No, no, no. I saw my seventh grade math teacher, who was the next person getting her hair done, did not recognize me because my hair is dark. But that was nice. Okay. I'm going to go home and I'll check in with you later. So I told them, ta-ta.
I'm heading to the rehearsal now. I am wearing literally the exact same outfit I wore to my parents' surprise anniversary party, uh, which maybe I'll get to show you if there's a mirror somewhere, but it is literally all Torrid. Um, I can't believe I own this much Torrid stuff. Torrid is so expensive, and yet I own many pieces um, from Torrid. Anyway, dress, denim jacket, and then my little yellow, um, like scalloped, like western yellow flats. I love this outfit because it, it can transition from summer to fall very easily uh, because you don't have to change a damn thing and it works so <laughs> and I have this I didn't wear this I wore I think I wore a brighter orange lip um, when I wore it in the summer and I have a darker orange lip now so maybe that's the change is the lip color I feel like my hair is a little bit darker than I wanted it to be but I think it looks good um, I think it's just a little dark but when the light it looks different Red hair is hard. Anyway, that's what's going on. I'm excited to see my friends. Uh, I haven't seen Aaron. I don't remember last time I saw Aaron. Hmm. I haven't seen her in a hot minute. So I'm excited to see her and like, like damn, this wedding is happening. It's tomorrow. Damn. So one thing I've been doing for the weddings is shaving my underarms. I usually do not shave my underarms because of my chronic skin condition, like shaving your underarms is not good for it. Um, so I don't usually do that, which means I rock a little bit of fluff, but no one sees it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but because I'm gonna be like throwing my hands up in the air, air, dancing, I was like, oh, I'll be honest, I really don't wanna be the bridesmaids with hairy armpits. like. Otherwise, I don't usually care, but I just don't want to, and I know it's stupid, and like, it doesn't matter, but also, it makes me feel comfortable, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. So anyway, I've shaved them, and now they just feel uncomfortable, especially in this jacket, because this jacket really presses up against them. Like, I tried to lotion them, like, with the lotion I use on my face, because it's very gentle, but I don't think it helped them. They kind of hurt. Um, hashtag pit props, so anyway. That's the update on that. Look how, see my hair looks light. Like look how red my hair looks here. Oh my God. But like not in the light, it looks like so dark. Anyway, I'm getting around this truck safely. Okay, I'll talk to you when I'm there. It's so pretty outside, look. Isn't it pretty? Can you see? It's gorgeous today. passing this gorgeous truck but look at it it's like uh, it is such a beautiful day the mountains the trees the, the leaves haven't changed yet here but they will in like october we're in church now this is the church this is where i had my first communion this is it these are my friends hey guys <laughs> Why? Why, Zach? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the church. Oh, this is the church. Hey, Will. We're at the rehearsal dinner now, which is at Puccini's restaurant. Oh, wow. That's a great angle of you. I love it. it Smell good. We had a hell of a time getting here. We don't know our town as well as we thought we did. Here we are. I think the last time I was here, it was a graduation party. Probably. Yeah, it was. There's yeah. a picture of me and Courtney here. Yeah. Right here. And Giovanna and Yes. We have the whole basement. So Erin, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. Woo. The whole basement? So yeah, I should say, whole basement is ours. All right, what's so the best spot here? Let's see. Snag a spot <laughs> somewhere. It doesn't matter. There's four booth, get a booth. There's four, four people. No one can join us. All the way back there. <laughs> no, I didn't. Toast? I can't. What? I can't. <laughs> toast with Zach. Why can't you toast? Your kids don't care. You can't clink our glasses together. Do you think your kids are really going to care? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Noah, I know you. It's right there. I see it. Is that apple juice, ma'am? It's apple juice. It's just, oh. Erin, do you want to share with us? Do you have a drink? I have a drink. But I wanted my water too. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to Erin getting married. Thanks for being here. 
everybody. <laughs> I spelled that on myself. Back now and blackmail you. <laughs> yeah, you're of age. And you're oh, okay, you have to We're now downtown because we love each other. We're hanging out, crew. Scumberland. <laughs> Scumberland. I say that. Um, so we're gonna go downtown to get some cake. <laughs> Apparently. Cake. Yeah. I would eat some cake. I want some cake. Oh, cake. 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 What? Oh, you want something? I thought you were. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you ready. Oh, the Domino's I'm here. Camera on. Why? You might catch something on film that they gotta. Ooh, <laughs> if you're right, they have to take my <laughs> camera as evidence. Yeah. This is where the prostitutes are, Zach. Oh, Zach. <laughs> we're now downtown because we love each other. We're hanging out, crew. Scumberland. <laughs> Scumberland. I say that. Um, so we're gonna go downtown to get some cake. <laughs> Apparently. Cake. Yeah. I would eat some cake. I want some cake. Oh, and cake. 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 What? Oh, you want something? I thought you were. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna oh, tell you. ready. Oh, the Domino's put here. Camera on. Why? You might catch something on film that they gotta. Ooh, <laughs> if you're right, they have to take my <laughs> camera as evidence. Yeah. So change of plans. We're at it was Mimi's house. We bought a bunch of cakes from the grocery store and we're just sampling them. This is a great idea, everyone. You would think this is a very drunk thing to do, but we're Yeah, we're not drunk, we're yeah. just, we just like cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very particular about our cake. This is a great idea. Uh -huh. You look so crazy, all dressed up. Just pulled into my driveway. My hair is really dark. <laughs> I keep talking about it. I'm a little, I get a little obsessed with my hair because my hair is very important to me. Anyway, it just looks really dark at night, but someone on Instagram said it looked really good, so whatever. So anyway, I just got home. I'm very tired. It's almost nine. It's just been a long day. But I'm listening to my brother on the radio because he calls. Um, is like the field reporter for high school football games in my hometown. We'll get third and four at the 17. That's him. Right wing now, Chandler Rose, they're gonna fake it to fall and throw. But I don't care about football. So. <laughs> but I thought it might be nice to listen to him on the way home. Um, yeah. I had a great night. I just love my friends. I don't have any other friends that are like those friends. And I wish I saw them more often. I've been seeing them a lot recently, but I want to continue seeing them. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside because possibly after he's done calling his football game, we are going out to drinks. But I'm not sure that I got happy. I definitely want to change them because I'm just uncomfortable and I hate being uncomfortable. It's like my least favorite thing is being uncomfortable in clothing or situations or life. So, uh, uh, I just love being home. Like the sky, the stars, it's beautiful. I just feel really nostalgic around this time of year. Like. There's football games, it's a little chilly, leaves are changing. Oh, the fire alarm's going off. It just is my favorite time of year, especially here. Yeah. All right, everyone. It is quite dark outside now. Um, the night is not yet over. Um, I think it's still in the plans to possibly get a drink with my brother and my mom after he's done with his football game. Um, but right now I'm going out to go to the liquor store and the grocery store and the gas station probably um, because, oh I'm really dark, because everyone is bringing something to so tomorrow we're not all getting ready like all the bridesmaids aren't getting ready but me and Shanoa and Carrie are getting ready at Shanoa's house so everyone's kind of bringing something breakfasty and my mom <sighs> suggested that I bring like mimosas and I was like yeah that sounds fun so I'm going to the liquor store to get some little like mini champagnes and I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store to get um, some orange juice, and I also, I forgot to bring my acne patches. If you've watched any of my like favorites videos, you know I love those little um, acne patches, but I forgot them today. I forgot them this weekend. I knew I forgot something. I forgot them, and I have this really big one on my cheek, 
which you can see even in the dark <laughs> because well it like popped earlier and it popped again and it's just like it's just really red and inflamed and I want to help it heal so I'm gonna tr go and see if anyone has these in the stores I've never seen them in the stores but they're essentially the same thing as like blister band-aids so I'm like maybe I can just buy blister band-aids I don't know anyway I will keep you updated but yeah this has been a long day I will be for real it has been a long a long day All right, just got out of the liquor store. I got a little four pack of champagne. And I also got a couple of Fireball, mi nope, that's, <laughs> that's an external charger. I got a couple Fireball minis. Cause I figure the, um, the reception is I think beer and wine only. Um, but you know, I'm economically minded. So I was like, I'll grab a Coke or two, put some Fireball Minis in it. <laughs> I'll be ahead of everyone else. Um, but yeah, I, I, was, I was in the liquor store and I'm from a very small town so everyone kind of knows each other and I was like, could not find the champagne because it's not really even near the wines at all. So I was like looking, looking and this guy who was like pushing a broom around with like super red hair. Okay, just got gas, as I was saying. Um, I, this is like a super bright red-headed guy was sweeping and he was like, oh, can I help you find anything? I was like, actually, yeah, I'm looking for like mini champagne, like four packs. And then this other guy was like, oh yeah, come on. Um, so this other guy took me back to the champagne aisle. Like as soon as like I get into the champagne aisle, the guy, with the red-headed guy with the like broom was like coming down. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, of course I go to the aisle where you're gonna go to next. Which I'm not realizing he may have gone there on purpose to see me again. <laughs> uh, but he like, went by and he was like, turned around, he's like, do I know you? And I was like, yes, I think you do. I remembered, I remembered that I knew this guy from middle school. I did like this haunted tunnel thing at a church that I didn't even go to in, in my town. And he was also there, middle school. And I remembered his name. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I want to say it was Tunnels. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, Mike. And he's like, yeah. And I, he did not remember my name. I was like, he was like, I don't. And I was like, Maggie. And he was like, Maggie, yes. <laughs> I was like, good to see you. I was like, you're a grown ass man now. <laughs> yeah, that was super funny. That's so weird. I don't usually run into people I know. But as far as people to run, as far as people to run into that I do know, he was actually pretty like chill. He was pretty nice. I feel like I had a crush on him, but I can't really remember. But I feel like I might have, um, or like I don't know, maybe not even a crush, but like a ooh, like that's a potential suitor. Of course it was. He was not. I never, I never spoke to him after tunnels. But I feel like we were Facebook friends or like MySpace friends. I don't know. Anyway. Weird but nice. He was nice to say hello to. And he recognized me. <laughs> Still got it. Okay, I'm gonna go get my orange juice now. All right, kids, I have secured the orange juice. Also got other things. I got ghost peeps. Because I am doing a baking video, I got deodorant, because I need it. Uh, I did get my blister band-aid um and that's everything ready to go home now I'm happy i found my blister band-aids if you ever want to try if you for whatever reason do not trust my recommendation and you want to try the zit stickers without like buying zit stickers himself and having a bunch of them if you buy that it's like hydrocolloid blister band-aids essentially they're just like these jelly like moisture absorbing bandages you can just cut them into like little bits and put them on your zips and um, use like them like just to try it out to see if it works for your face. It should work for everyone's face. It's not, it doesn't, it's not a treatment, it's just a bandage. But if you are skeptical, you can always get those bandages and try it out. So I'm gonna try it out tonight because again, this, hello, so red. And these bandages just are, do wonders in decreasing swelling and redness, so. 
gonna try that when I get home. I haven't heard any word on going out later, but I spent $16 when I went to spend four, so. Isn't that, that isn't that an adult thing, like you go into a store, I could, oh, oh no. Lose everything in my bag. You go to a store and you're like, I just need blank. Doesn't even just, doesn't, doesn't even have to be Target. I mean, I know this easily happens at Target. Doesn't even need to be Target. You go into a store for one day, you walk out with like, six things and you spent 20 bucks because you just need things like deodorant sometimes i think it's weird that they let me drive cars like i'm an adult and i'm allowed to drive a car I have to do adult things pay taxes rent an apartment i don't know i feel like i'm a little young <laughs> anyway so i'm heading back home now I just love grocery stores at night. I feel like they're really calm places because like no one is at the store. You can take as long as you want. There's no like rush. Everything's really clean and stocked and beautiful. The moon is really beautiful tonight. It's like the clearest sky. It's still kind of big because it's not fully up in the sky. When I was driving to the liquor store, it was like just barely up and it looked huge. Um, it's not as huge. It's still pretty big though. But I can see like all of the like craters and stuff on it. It's like really clear tonight, which is nice. Again, it's been raining. And even in, well, I don't go out that much at night in the city. Um, but even there, there's so many buildings and stuff. It's like I can hardly ever see the moon unless it's like out of my like bedside window um, but my bed doesn't face that way anymore so I don't really even see it that often anymore so anyway it's just nice it's just nice to be here um, I don't think I could live here because I think I would feel trapped and like bored eventually maybe that's how I felt like as a teenager and like as a college person but I don't know I don't really do that much, so <laughs> most of my friends are online or I don't see them that often because so I'm not really near them, so I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, I don't know if I can move back here because it is sort of just like, there's not much to do. This is very Trump, Trump country, so that would be annoying. Definitely couldn't find anyone to date out here, but it is just nice. I think it's just nice. It's the kind of atmosphere I like. It's calm. It's very woodsy, it's just very like, very rural. <laughs> um, and it's simple. And like, the, I guess part of the reason I like it is because being out here, all of the pleasures are very simple. So like tonight with my friends, we just went to a grocery store and got a bunch of cake and like did a cake swap <laughs> and tasted them. And that to me is fun and like, cheap and it's not about what you're doing it's about who you're doing it with and I just wish I had I don't know I wish I had more experiences like that where I'm living now um but I think it's just a different a different case near DC but yeah I don't know I do just like this kind of slower pace where you can drive everywhere you can go to a liquor store at 10 o'clock at night and like you're like the only person there pretty much and you run into someone you knew in middle school <laughs> I might have it might have been high school I know he was like younger than me it's weird because I'm like oh yeah Mike I think we were Facebook friends we might still be Facebook friends maybe he'll add me anyway <laughs> I'm tired I'm a little delusional I'm gonna stop talking now okay bye tell us what's going on Meg we're getting ready for Aaron's wedding. We're having a little bridesmaid's party. We have some bubbly, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, coffee cake, we're at Chinoa's house, and that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Zach, any input? Fun. It's a party, everyone's it's here. Party. Everyone's here, except Aaron. <laughs> Super fun. Care Bear? Coffee cake. <laughs> Here, you look like you're a like a commercial right now because your hair is done, but you're wearing a pajama oh, top and you're yeah, eating you coffee cake. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that coffee cake is delicious. <laughs> okay, you can pan to someone else now. <laughs> yeah, like Barb. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. Over to the. Um, how's the hair coming? I don't know. All right. That's always a good.
good sign. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, I don't know. Chanel, let me see your rat tail. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Huh? Yes. Oh, that's so sexy. Oh, well hurry up, Mom. Let me see your rat. Yeah. <laughs> you got your 90s look going on again today. The makeup table, which is, this is all my makeup. Do you ever wonder how much it costs to be a woman in this world? It costs a lot. <laughs> Rat tail. Mm, rat tail. Oh, oh, mom, oh. you might need to do it. I'm accidentally getting other hair. I was telling Evan about the sippy cups. I love the Mimi sippy cups. They were the best. Look at this delicious coffee cake Barb made us. Ooh. Yeah. Carrie, spokeswoman. Give us your tagline for Barb's coffee uh, cake. Oh, Barb's coffee soup. cake. Oh, Barb's right. coffee like, cake. It is so delicious. <laughs> the thumbs up sold me. I know. <laughs> we're in the car and we're not late. <laughs> I'm worried. Very worried. Aaron's too smart for us. We all look gorgeous, ladies. Thank you. Ladies, ladies, yes, ladies. ladies. <laughs> and we're on our way. Aaron's wedding. Sun is down, freezing cold. That's how we already know when it's here. My dog will probably do it for Louis Bell. That's just all he know, he don't know nothing else. I tried to show him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going on you with the pick and roll. Young flame here, civil mode. It's time! Woo! Woo! Ready, Mary? Yes, I am ready. ready. Let's do it! Woo! Oh, Tara's married now. I'm good. I think we're on the party bus, as you can see from all the party stuff. I'm inside the back, it's like emotion sick. Oh, and now there's a shit. We're in the, we're safe, we're in a corner. I'm wincing, I'm wincing. True, close your eyes. Oh, good job! There's also little ones down here, but those are for champagne. Oh, wow. Oh, they're cold. Warm it up. Alright, Lauren. What is that? Oh, Moscato. Yeah, I like that. We're good back here. We're good. We're good. I'll take one of these. Actually, I kind of want to do Oh, yeah, so here, I'll take one. Is there more? All right. Double We're doing a good job. Yeah. There, see if she waves. <laughs> are we cheersing? Now are we ready? Everybody has a glass. You know, you know. Wow. I spilled that on myself. Reception party now. It looks really pretty. It's in there. I love a good light show. Nope. <laughs> Just wait for your name and then run. Yeah. 
Aaron and Calvin went up there to go say hello to people like they're the queen and king. Oh, it's so pretty. Aww. Gorgeous. At the reception now, me and Zach, everyone else is gone. It's Only one's left. It's a pregame. <laughs> it is, I mean. We do, we have rum and coke. I remember the You're a phony. We're about to go out. I'm not gonna bring my camera. Chanel's doing her contact. If I can, quickly. If she I can. The <laughs> I think I might take my lipstick off. Anyway, wedding done. She's married. Our girl's off. My pants are now wet. Ew. We did it, kids. We did it. Congrats, Aaron and Calvin. Anything to say? No, I've got to focus. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Hello. Not hungover. That's me, this girl. Not hungover. Um, I didn't take you with me last night, but it was fun. Um, got drunk, talked to people I knew in high school. Um, my mom picked me up. We went and got McDonald's and got home at 1 a.m. And then I slept because I was so tired. Um, and now it's almost noon and mom went to church, but she's gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go shopping um, Because my birthday is Friday, which is a wild tomorrow is October 1st That is crazy um, So then we're gonna go and shopping and um, we Might pick some stuff out for My birthday and yeah, see uh, See what's happening and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna head home. So and then I'll probably be back next weekend for my birthday. <laughs> oh man, October's gonna be cray cray, but I'm gonna enjoy this day. Um, last day of September, goodbye September. You are very kind to me, thank you. We're at the Goodwill. Where's the Goodwill? Oh, it's there. This is what I wore last night. Yeah, you're fine. Apparently it's a special dot day. Oh, they have Halloween stuff. All the dot stuff is on sale. Dollar, you said? Lots of Halloween stuff. The special dot day? No, don't say anything about dot day. Gray and clear strings are 99 cents each. Did you read the sign? It said gray and clear strings are 99 cents. So gray and, and clear. clear. Oh, the little cords are gone. I'm sorry. We're at the mall now and it's Christmas, apparently. And JCPenney. A little early. What coats? I like that coat. That right there. There's a home sale. See, see the yellow signs back there? Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. I would go. Go That's for nice. it. It might be everyone. Uh, yeah. I think you're right. Oh, I bet I could find it. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> These are cute. They have handles. What? That's cute. Everything is coming up for roses. Choose to shine. 
What are you doing? Look at it. Ow. Uh, uh. Look at these little, look at these little Moscow Mule shot glasses. They're pretty cute. 38 piece emergency kit. Huh. Would I use them? No. Cute. Final take clearance. It looks pretty summery to me. Where? Mm. I'd rather not waste time looking through all of this stuff and just go look for stuff I actually want. I don't know. A lot of work. I'm gonna go look at jewelry. No, you're gonna look with me. Oh, okay. Hello, vlog fam. It's wow. There's a man shoveling. No shirt on. <laughs> Gets inside of it. Welcome to Cumberland, folks. Uh, I'm leaving my home now. I'm coming back next weekend. Third weekend in a row because my life is just like that. So, <laughs> usually I'm like, yeah, I'll be home, you know, maybe sometime next month. I'm like, yep, see you next week. <laughs> see you in less than a week. Boy, anyway, yeah, heading uh, back to my apartment, leaving an hour later than I intended, but say lovey, just how it is sometimes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get back around 8.30. I'm already tired. I'm gonna be tired when I get back to. However, tomorrow's October 1st, and I would be remiss if I did not decorate the apartment tonight because I, would, I really wanted to decorate it before I even left for this weekend, so it would be decorated when I got back. Didn't get that done because I'm doing a million things. So that's like, yeah, important to me when I go back. I want to do that. I have my hair up in like a half thing. and like, oh, this is like really long actually, which makes me happy, but I got all this <laughs> hanging out. I think it kind of looks cute. I can't tell. Anyway, so yeah, driving home. Two hours, two hours drive. like my birthday week kind of leading up to my birthday 13 nights of Halloween starts tomorrow a thousand percent going to watch Hocus Pocus you cannot stop me it's happening and yeah I just cannot believe that tomorrow is October 1st like this month just went wee bye bye <laughs> Talk to you again when I get home because I think I'm gonna try and decorate tonight and I'll show you guys what I do. I know you guys like to do what I like to know what I do. Um, I think so. Huh, in my one of the vlog I posted, I think yesterday or the one I posted tomorrow, I was like, I think I'm gonna do like an autumn decor, like pretty like lookbook thing for my home, which I do want to do. However, I'm probably not going to do it till November because now my autumn decor is coming down and I'm putting up my Halloween. So I'm definitely going to do a Halloween one for funsies. Um, but yeah, I don't have, I don't have any video planned. For, I had such great plans of just recording all the videos I needed and having them ready, edited, ready to go out. It just didn't happen, folks. Didn't happen. Apologize. Don't even know when you're going to see this vlog. Um, but, yeah, so I got some shit to do. But it should all be fine. So we'll see. Anyway, talk about it again. Home now, in my pajamas, obviously. Um, it's pretty obvious that Mau Mau got into a little bit of a naughtiness while she was gone because all of the things that usually sit on our dining room table are on the floor <laughs> but in general she was pretty much an angel um and she was very happy to see me 
which was very cute. So I unpacked pretty much everything that needs to be unpacked right now. So I was gonna go ahead and flip all of my Halloween stuff. So I will certainly show you around once it's done. I don't think I'm going to like have you watch me do it because it's probably gonna be pretty boring. Could time lapse it, but I'll be I'll be for reals. It's gonna be boring, and I want to do it as quickly as possible so I can eat dinner and watch The Good Place, which I missed um, because it was on Thursday and I missed it. I really want to watch it. It's one of my favorite shows right now. So anyway. I'm gonna put up my decks and then I'll show you the aftermath. Okay, this is future me talking to past me. Uh, past me, you forgot to end your video. <laughs> so that was like ooh, ooh, a week ago, I guess. Not that long. But anyway, now I will show you my decorations. I'm in my Halloween pajamas. Link in the description box if you want to get these for yourself. Uh, this is a bra from Tomboy X. But these pajamas are from Target. Um, so I'm gonna show you my Halloween decor. That is all up now. Um, starting with the kitchen. So this is not, like I did not just clean, so like bear with me. But here we have a pot holder. This is a tea towel. Um, up here is another tea towel that my mom got me. Um, I really should make a cake with that this year. Maybe I'll do that um, once I get back from my trip from Salem. Um, all my mugs, and then on the floor I have this rug. I love um, the Peanuts characters. My mom always gets me like Peanuts stuff, so this is a cute little Halloween Peanuts rug. Mama is eating her dinner, but she is also a Halloween decoration because of her collar. And then in my cozy coffee corner, let me grab my phone here, I have um, this little Mickey um, like trick or treat pumpkin that Stacy got me for my birthday because she went to Disney World and then I also have my pumpkin that was up here before. I have a little Woodstock decoration. Um, I think most of this stuff was here before. Then I have this mug which Stacy brought me back from Disney. It says boo to you on the back. And then this mug that one of my followers got me from Disney which is like the most amazing thing. This is from uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It is a cauldron, and in the front it says Hocus Pocus Party Potion, Magic Kingdom 2018, and then the back says 25th Years of Hocus Pocus. So I don't think this is something I could have gotten without being there, and I'm so grateful that my follower sent me this. Like, how amazing is that? I was, like, so touched. Um, they sent me a bunch of other stuff, too, with it, but I was just, like, incredibly touched that one of my followers loves me enough to send me that. So anyway, into the dining room. My mom gave me this um, tablecloth, I think two years ago, so whatever, pop it on. Then I got this um, trick-or-treat plate from Giant, um, and I'm, I think I'm gonna bring this to my party this coming weekend to put either hot dog buns or s'mores fixins or something on there. And then I also have this bucket that I use for fruit that my mom got me um, a couple years ago. And yeah, that's pretty much everything over there. I have a little bit of a corner over here. Um, this is the ribbon that Jay sent me. I just ended up putting that around my little table. And then I have a witch's hat full of candy, money that I got for my birthday. That's on a decoration. A little mummy my mom got me last year. This nice tapestry, more Peanuts characters and a couple signs. Um, then I, I put some bats on my photo wall over here. Um, so let's go into the living room. Um, on the coffee table I have plates. <laughs> These are just plastic plates I've picked up. I think this was from Target and that was from Giant. Just a like, little decoration. Then I have another witch's hat full of candy. Although this used to have more candy in it, but I ate it. Over here on the TV stand, um, these are just odds and ends I picked up. Um, from different places, but Jay got me this. I think this is from Target. This is from Target. Don't know where that's from. Actually, I think those two things are from the Christmas tree store, possibly. Um, just like little cute witchy things. And then on this side, I kept my plaid pumpkins, but I added. This is actually the first Halloween decoration I ever bought myself as an adult. Um, this was like $3 from Walmart this summer. After I graduated college, I was like so alone and <laughs> I bought this to make myself feel happy. Um, another little tea light holder from Jay. Then this trick or treat sign back here. Um, and then my mom got me this pillow for my birthday, which is cute, kind of fall, not really Halloween, but that's okay. And then on my door, 
to my balcony I have two kind of vintagey looking cat decorations with ribbons that I got from the Dollar Tree and then little peanut stickies that I got from I don't even know my mom gave those to me I do not know where they're from so if we head over here oh everything is messy just move all that mess over <laughs> so here I have I'll put my new cat here um, I kept this wall the same because I only had one Halloween banner and I used that for my bedroom but over here on the credenza uh, my mom gave me this little like oh no oh no oh no okay a uh, little ceramic cauldron that I don't know I just put out don't really put anything in it but that's okay then I have this pumpkin that has an M on it for Maggie or McGill because that's my last name and then this little cat decoration that um, Katie, who sent me the Hocus Pocus mug, also sent me. So that's what's going on there. And then if we go to the boudoir, we will see. This is also what Stacy got me from uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I love these. It's a necklace and it lights up. Isn't that so cool? I love it. Okay, stop. Thank you. So I'm gonna do a little bedroom reveal, but I need to tidy up first. Oh, that's too dark. Okay, <laughs> we'll turn off the lights in a second. Uh, let's move all these clothes for one second. Sorry y'all, I just finished filming a video. That will probably go up later this week. Um, okay, so. Gotta have pumpkin pushing. I love pumpkin pushing. Okay. Okay, so this is my bedroom setup, um, sort of similar to the fall um, setup. I have a couple extra signs, Halloween signs here. I have this pumpkin here um, that I don't have a light bulb for, but it, it looks nice. Um, here I have Hocus Pocus pillows that I got from Target last year. My pumpkin pusheen that I bought for myself last year. Hashtag no regrets. It was $30, and I love her. Um, and then I have this banner on my wall that I think was from Target or Walmart last year, and then this candy corn um, bunting that was from Dollar General this year. And then on this wall I have my movie print of Hocus Pocus, and then a little um, shadow box from Spirit from this year. And then over here we kind of have Halloween odds and ends. Uh, the candles that I use, uh, that I got for my candle haul that are the Sanderson sisters. I should put this somewhere more prominent. I also have this little buddy that I got from Target last year. Um, so these are over here, although they're not quite using, being used as decorations. I really should put these, I'm just afraid Mama's going to destroy them and I don't trust Mama. Um, but yeah, so let's turn out the lights. We can really get a good look at it in all its glory. Ooh, ah. Clap, 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 okay. Focus, please. Gorgeous. So yeah, this is my Halloween, um, Halloween bed stuff, y'all. Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. So, those are all of the things that I have going on in my home. I forgot one thing, which is this soap dispenser. But other than that, <laughs> those are all the Halloween things in my home. I really hope you like this video. Um, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. And I will see you next time. Bye.